Is your life really over if you drop out of high school? No, but it'll certainly be a lot harder. Here in Ontario, Canada, most jobs require a minimum grade 12 diploma. No, not at all. You can become a member of Congress. My sister dropped out. I graduated fully. Guess who's making money and contemplating buying their own house? And who's unemployed? Community colleges will take you if you have a pulse. So no. I tested out of school in 10th grade with the CHSPE. Which is basically a GED if you're under 18 in California. And is only recognized in California. And I started community college in Oregon at 25 with no issues. Didn't need to take the SATs or GED or anything. Community college is the shit. Not to mention trade schools. In one two years you can learn a skill most people don't have and make a solid living. No. Your life is over if you drop out of a flying airplane. No. But it is going to be significantly harder. Usually. Exceptions against. But likely those people could have achieved way more if they had never dropped out to begin with. Well the answer is no but the following question is why did you drop out of high school? 1. My financial does not allow me to continue it's okay don't lose hope you will manage somehow. 2. I am so lazy no motivation for living anymore maybe you need to fix this first. It'll be best to learn a trade if that's the route you choose. It's certainly not the easiest path but your life isn't over. I make around 70k in the fire sprinkler trade as a high school drop R. Edit on mobile. Grammar. No but high school is really short lived if you think about it it's really like 3 to 4 years. My advice is to just get that over with because those 3 to 4 years are going to pass no matter what. And you're either gonna have a high school diploma or you're not. Your life isn't over until you're dead. But you'll sure as shit have a lot of extra misery in your life if you drop out. Get a GED. Initially, things could be good. You have a lot of freedom. And you get to make money from part-time jobs while your peers are broke-ass students. But once your peers graduated with diploma degrees vocational cert, you'll realize how short-sighted you were. Lack of education means you'll be passed up every single time you look for a job. And you'll be doomed with a dead-end job with no progression in sight. Even if an education is teaching things irrelevant to daily life, it opens up a pathway of opportunities. No, but it just got a lot harder. It can make it harder. Employment-wise. But as long as you get your GED you're good. Also, depending on your age, you may not be allowed to work some jobs job duties. But once you turn 18 that's no longer an issue. You just need to figure out what path you want to take. It is advisable to get a GED at least but going through high school is not required. Learn in the best way it works for you. Don't embrace ignorance. Keep learning. You can fix it, it isn't over, but don't drop out. It is definitely a mistake. 39 years old paper mill supervisor. 82k year. No diploma no GED. Failed every grade since 7th until I dropped out after 4 years in high school. I'm okay. No. Honestly if you're capable I'd suggest everyone leave high school their sophomore year. Get a GED and a 2 year tech degree instead. When everyone is graduating high school you'll already be done with an internship and making up to six figures. Nobody cares about who won the war of 1812. All that matters is establishing a usable education or a trade early. The next step would be saving for a down payment on property housing and get a head start on never renting either. I left during my senior year. Took my GED and went right into working. Long story. Way short. That was 1996. I am now 45.
a director for a large insurance company and finishing my master's degree. Not every journey follows the main path. Do what you want to do. Yes until it isn't, and you rise from the ashes. No such thing is over unless you say it is. I found after I finished high school I got a lot more callbacks with jobs. Just makes things a little easier I feel like. No. But prepare to just work. Try to get your GED. Most places will not hire without a high school diploma or GED. No. But you might find yourself paying lots of money to get the equivalent GED later in life. So I would recommend sticking it out if possible. Not everyone can though. And there is nothing wrong with that. Not the end of the world but it sounds like you want to be self-sufficient. Education is just a tool like any other. It's like trying to homestead without a chainsaw. Can you do it? Sure. Is it advisable? No. And you'll hear the same argument. You can do it but it'll be much harder without it. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. You'll probably live for another 60 years so. Nope. I know several people personally who quit school due to various circumstances in their lives when we were younger. All of them have gone on to have successful careers and lives. They have had to work harder for them though so that's something to keep in mind. No, it's not. You just close a lot of doors. No, it's not. But for most people, the 60 years after are much easier to survive if they just had at least invested the 1-2 years to finish high school. No. If you have other skills, then no. You'll need to learn a trade. It can be plumber, mechanic, electrician, door installer, etc. Many of the boomers I met never had a degree. But that was back then. These days you gotta take on a job that no one else is after. Don't look down on retail sales either. If you are good and dedicated then you advance. Associate supervisor team lead assistant manager manager general manager. Everything takes time and effort. I have a friend who didn't finish middle school and she became a manager of a store. Just had to work work really hard at it. I dropped out in 11th grade. Ended up getting my GED at 22. Got enrolled into community college at 24 and got a full ride scholarship to a university to finish. Out my bachelor's. I'm now one quarter away from graduation and have a high paying job lined up in a STEM field. It's not over unless you give up. I dropped out of my high school in the last quarter of 10th grade. I did fortunately get my general education equivalency degree. My social skills tanked through the floor and I entered a very deep depression due to not seeing my friends often. People like to say your high school years don't matter but they really do. It's a tough time of personal development. It's the biggest regret of my entire life and I'm 31 now. Get a GED, and then go to the local community college and take some classes regarding the farming or animal husbandry you're interested in. That way, if you need to apply for some regular job, it shows initiative and a path, and you'll be learning the stuff you need to learn. What's your plan? Get a GED. Go into a trade or a community college. If you're just gonna drop out and sleep in, yeah, you have a problem. But a GED and community college or apprenticeship will get you on a perfectly good road. There are people who drop out of high school for valid reasons and follow that path. It's not easy but you need to make sure you're moving forward. High school puts structure into your life and you're going to have to do that for yourself from now on. School is just a guide. It's not necessary to some but if you don't learn a trade it would really be hard to get a job since. Diplomas are kind of a testament that you know basic norms and such.